Vaughn and I will be reciting the whole Constitution from memory. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the confidence, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Article 1, Section 1. All legislative powers here granted shall be vested in a Congress of the United States, which consists of a Senate and House of Representatives. Section 2. The House of Representatives shall be composed of members chosen every second year by the people of the several states, and the electors in each state shall have the qualifications requisite for electors of the most numerous branch of the state legislature. No person shall be a representative who shall not have a sentence age of 25 years and been seven years a citizen of the United States and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state in which he shall be chosen. Representatives and taxes shall be apportioned among the whole states, which may be included within this union, according to their respective numbers, which shall be determined by adding to the whole number of free persons, including those bound to service for a term of years, and excluding Indians not taxed. Three fifths of all the persons the actual enumeration shall make within three years after the first meeting of the Congress of the United States, and within every subsequent term of ten years, in such manner as they shall be able to direct the number of representatives shall not exceed one for every thirty thousand, but each state shall shall be sworn representative, and until such a new election shall be made, the state of New Hampshire shall be entitled to street. Massachusetts State, Rhode Island and Providence Plantations one, Connecticut five, New York six, New Jersey four, Pennsylvania eight, Delaware one, Maryland six, Virginia ten, North Carolina five, South Carolina five, and Georgia three. When fixes happen in the representation from a state, the executive authority thereof shall issue rules of election to festivities. The House of Representatives shall choose the speaker and the officers and shall so power of impeachment. Section 3. The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from the state, chosen by the legislature thereof for six years, and each senator shall have one vote immediately after they shall be assembled. In consequence of the first election, they shall be divided as equally as may be into three classes. The seats of the senators of the first class shall be vacated at the expiration of the second year, of the second class at the expiration of the fourth year, and of the, and of the third class at the expiration of the sixth year. So that one that, be, so that one that may be chosen every, every second year, and if vacancies happen by resignation or otherwise, during the recess of the legislature of a state, the executive thereof may make terminal appointments until the next meeting of the legislature, which of this was Sphinxes. No person shall be a senator who shall not have a sense age of 30 years, and be nine years a citizen of the United States, and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state for which he shall be chosen. The vice president of the United States should be president of the Senate, but shall have no vote on the speak unless they be equally divided. The Senate shall choose their other officers and also be president, per temporary in the absence of the vice president, or, or when he shall exercise the office of president of the United States. The Senate shall also power to try all impeachments. When standing for that purpose, they shall be on oath or affirmation when the president of the United States is tried. The chief justice shall preside, and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two thirds of the members present. Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But the party convicted shall never lose by vote and subject to a diamond. Trial, judgment, and punishment according to law. Section 4. The times, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed any state, but the legislature thereof, but the Congress may at any time by law, make or also such regulations except as to the places of choosing senators. The Congress shall
year. And such meaning shall be the first of many in December, unless it shall be law a point in different day. Section 5. Each house shall be the judge of the elections, returns and qualifications of its own members, and a majority of each shall constitute a quorum to do business. But a small number, major from day to day, and may be authorized to cabal the attendance of its own members in such manner and under such penalties as each house may provide. Each house may determine the rules of its proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and without concurrence of two thirds expelling member. Each house shall keep a journal of its proceedings and from time to time publish the same, expecting such price as may in the judgment regards to Christie. And the yeas and nays of the members of either house on. Any question shall at the desire of one fifth of those present be entered of the journal. Neither house the session of Congress shall, without the consent of the Congress, um, except that, wait, um, shall without the consent of the other adjourn for more than three days, nor to any other place than that in which the two houses shall be sitting. Section 6. The senators' representatives shall receive big compensation for their services to be ascertained by law and paid out of the Treasury of the United States. They shall in all cases, um, they shall in all cases except treason, felony, and breach of the peace be privileged from rest during their attendance at the session of their respective houses. And in going to and returning from the same, and for any speech or debate in either house, they should not be questioned in any other place. No senator or representative shall, during the time for which you for which he was elected, be appointed to any office under the authority of the United States which have, which have been created, or the emoluments whereof shall have been created during such time, and no person holding any office under the United States shall be a member of either house during his continuance in office. Section 7. All bills for raising their freedom shall originate in the House of Representatives. But the Senate may propose or concur with amendments as on other bills. Every bill which shall pass the House of Representatives and the Senate shall, before, uh, before it become a law, be presented to the President of the United States. If he, if he approve, he shall sign it. But if not, he shall, he shall return it with his objections to the House in which it shall have originated, who shall enter the objections at large on their journal and proceed to consider it. If I persist reconsideration to those of the House shall agree to pass the bill, it shall be sent together with the objections to the other House by which it shall be reconsidered, and if approved by two thirds of the House, it shall become a law. But in all such cases, the votes of both Houses shall be determined by yes nays, and the names of the persons voting for and against the bill shall be returned on the journal of each House respectively. If many bill shall not be returned by the president within ten days, ten days accepted, after it shall have been presented to him. The same shall be law in like manner as if I as if he has signed it. Unless the Congress by their adjournment prevent its return, in which case it shall not be a law. Every order or resolution vote to which the concurrence of the Senate and House of Representatives may be necessary, except on the question of adjournment, shall be presented to the President of the United States. And before the same shall take effect, shall be approved by him, or being disapproved by him, shall be repassed by two thirds of the Senate House of Representatives, according to the rules and limitations prescribed in the case of a bill. Section 8. The Congress shall hard to lay and collect taxes, duties, and both excesses, to pay the debts, and provide for the confidence and general welfare of the United States. But all duties and both excesses shall be from the third of the United States, to borrow money on the credit of the United States. To regular commerce with foreign nations and among the sources with the Indian tribes. Section 8. The Congress shall meet up to establish a uniform rule of nationalization and uniform laws on the subject of, of bankruptcies throughout the United States. To coin the many, break the file thereof, and inform quick and fix the standard list of measures. To provide for the to provide for the punishment of counterfeiting these securities and credit of the United States. To establish post offices and posters, to promote the progress of science in these parts by securing public times, 
small square. As made by session of particular states and the acceptance of Congress beca becomes the of the government of the United States and exercise of, like authority of all places purchased by the Senate of the legislature of the state in which the Senate shall be for the erections of floors, magazines, arsenals, dark yards, and other needful buildings, and to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution <coughs> the foregoing powers and all other powers which by this constitution in the government <coughs> of the United States or in any department or officer thereof. Section 9. The migration or importation of such persons as any of the states now existing shall think proper to amend shall not be prohibited by the Congress prior to the year 1808 by a tax or duty may be imposed on such importation no exceeding ten dollars for each person. The privilege of the rights of habeas corpus shall not be submitted unless in cases of rebellion or invasion the public safety may require it. No bill of attainer or ex facto law shall be passed. No capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census of new immersion here before directed to be taken. No tax or duty shall be laid on articles export from any state. No preference shall be, given, shall be given by any regulation of commerce or revenue to the portion of one state over those of another, nor shall be bound to or from one state be obliged to serve clear duties in another. No money shall be drawn from the treasury by the consequence of appropriations made by law and a regular summary and account of the receipts and expenditures of all public money shall be published from time to time. No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States, and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them shall, without the consent of the, of, the of the Congress, except of any president, emoluments, office, or title of any kind of her, from a great person for a state. Section 10. No state shall turn into any treaty alliance with confederation, grant laws, mod wisel, coin money, emit bills of credit, make anything but goals of her, coin tender, and payment of debts, pass any bill of tenure, ex perfecto law, or law more than the obligation of contracts, or grant any title of nobility, no state shall, without the consent of the Congress, lay in imposts or duties on imports or, or experts, shall, uh, except one may, except one may be absent, absolutely necessary for executing a suspect laws and the net produce of all duties and imposts, laid by any state on imports or, or experts, shall be for the use of Church of the United States, and also laws shall be subject to the revision and control of the Congress. No state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any duty of tonnage, key troops or ships of war, and time peace, enter into any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power, or engage in war unless action invaded or in such imminent danger as will not omit of you lay. Article 2, Section 1. The executive power shall be vested in the president of the United States of America. He shall hold his office during during the term four years, and together with the vice president, chosen for the chosen for the same term, be elected as follows. Each state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors equal to the whole number of senators and representatives to which the state may be entitled in the Congress. But no center or representative or person holding an office of trust or profit in the United States shall be appointed any elector. The elector shall meet in the respected states and vote by ballot for two persons, of whom one elector shall not be an inhabitant of the same state with themselves. And they shall make a list of all the persons voted for, and of the number of, vo of votes for each, which list they shall sign, certify, and transmit it sealed to the seat of the government of the United States, directed to the president of the Senate. The president of the Senate shall in the presence of the Senate and House of Representatives, open all the certificates and the votes shall be counted. The person having the greatest, the person having the greatest number of, of votes shall be the president. If such number be majority of the whole number of electors appointed, and if there be more than one who has such majority and have an equal number of votes, then the House of Representatives shall immediately choose by ballot, choose by ballot one of them for president. And if no person have a majority, then from the five highest on the list. This said, I'll shall like better choose the president, but choose the president, the vote shall be taken by states. The representation from a state having one vote in quorum for this purpose shall exist of a member or members or members from two thirds of the states. Any majority of all states shall be necessary to a choice. And in every case, after the choice of the president, the person having the greatest votes of the electors shall be the vice president. 
choose from them by all the vice president. The Congress may determine the time of choosing the electors and the day on which they shall give them votes, which day shall be the same throughout the United States. No person, no person except, except a national citizen or citizen of the United States at the time of the adoption of this Constitution, uh, of this Constitution, um, shall be eligible to the office of president. Neither shall any person be eligible to the office who shall not have a tenth stage of 35 years and mid 14 years a resident within the United States. In case of the removal of the president from office or of his death, resignation, or inability to discharge the powers and duties of this office, the same shall upon the vice president and the Congress made by law provide for the case of removal, death, resignation, or inability. Both of the president and vice president declaring what officer shall then act as president and, uh, and such officer shall act accordingly until the disability be removed or a president shall be elected. The president shall take steps receive for, their service, for his services. A compensation which shall neither be increased nor diminished during the period for which he, he shall be elected. And he shall not receive within that period any other emolument from the United States or of them before he enter on the execution of his office. He shall take the following oath or affirmation. I do so much more or from that will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Section 2. The President shall be Commander of Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States and of the Militia of the Soviet States. When called into the actual service of the United States, he may require the opinion and writing of the principal officer in each of the executive departments. Upon any subject relating to the duties, related to the duties of their respective offices, and it shall par to to grant briefs and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. He shall par by a letter passed ex nihilo to be treated provided to those of the centers, present concur, and he shall nominate and by and with advice exit of the Senate shall appoint ambassadors of the public ministers and councils, judges of the Supreme Court, and all the officers of the United States, whose appointments are not here and otherwise provided for, and which shall be established by law, but the Congress made by law, vest the appointment of such and three officers as they think proper, and the President alone, in the course of law, or the heads of departments, the President shall power to fill all vacancies that may happen during the races of the Senate, by granting commissions which are fired at the end, um, um, uh, by granting commissions which shall expire at the end of their next session. Section 3. He shall from time to time give to Congress information of the State of the Union and recommend to their considerations such matters as he shall do necessary. And expedient, he may on extraordinary occasions convene both houses or either of them. In the case of disagreement between, between them with respect to the time of adjournment, he may adjourn to such time as he shall think proper. He shall he shall receive ambassadors and other public ministers. He shall take care that the law be fully executed and shall commission all the officers of the United States. Section 4. The President and Vice President and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, robbery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Article 3, Section 1. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court and such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The judges both of the Supreme and Inferior Courts shall hold their offices during the brief year and shall such such receive for, for their services. A compensation which shall not be diminished during the continuance in office. Section 2. The judicial power shall extend to all cases and law of duty arising under this Constitution. The laws of the United States and which shall be made under um uh, wait the laws of the United States and, and, and treaties made or which shall be made under the authority to all cases affecting ambassadors of the public ministers and councils to all cases of royalty and maritime jurisdiction to controversies to controversies to which the United States shall be party to controversies between two or more states between a state and citizens of another state between citizens of different states between citizens of the same state claiming lands and the grants of different states of differences and between a state and between a state or the or the citizens thereof, and for the states, citizens or subjects in all cases affecting ambassadors of the public
Windsor's and Castles, um, and those in which a state shall be part of the Supreme Court shall have original jurisdiction in all the other cases before mentioned. The Supreme Court shall uphold jurisdiction both as to law and fact of such exceptions and of such regulations as the Congress shall make. The trial of all crimes, except in cases of punishment, shall be by jury in such trial, shall uphold and say, when the said crime shall have been committed, but when not committed within any state, the trial shall be such place or places as the Congress might, may by law have directed. Section 3. Treason against the United States shall exist only in living war or against them, or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid co and a confer no person shall be convicted of treason unless of the testament, unless on the testimony of two witnesses, to the same overt act or on confession of McCor. The Congress shall power to dispose might not the Congress shall power to declare the punishment of treason, but no attainer of treason shall work corruption of blood or torture, except to the life of the person attainted. Article four, section one. Full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state, and the Congress may by journals prescribe. The manner in which such acts, records, and proceedings shall be proved in the effect thereof. Section 2. The citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens and the so states. A person charged in any state with treason, felony, or other crime who shall flee for justice and be found in another the state shall on demand of the executive authority of the state from which he fled be delivered up to be removed to the state have jurisdiction of the crime. No person, held service, or labor, and one state, under the laws thereof, escaping into another, shall in consequence of any law or regulation that are right, be discharged from such. Short of labor, but shall be opened up, out of claim of the party, to whom such service or, to whom such service or labor may be due. Section 3. New states may be admitted by the Congress into this union, but no new state shall be formed or erected within the jurisdiction of any other state, nor any state be formed by the junction of two or more states or part of states without the extent of the legislatures of the states concerned as well as of the Congress. The Congress shall are to dispose of and make, and make all needful rules and regulations respecting the territory or other property belonging to the United States, and nothing in this Constitution shall be so construed as to purchase any claims of the United States or of any, or of any particular state. Section 4. The United States shall guarantee to every state in this Union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive with the legislature could not be convened against domestic violence. Article 5, Section 1. Article, wait, Article 5. Article 5, okay, the Congress, whenever two thirds of both houses shall deem it necessary, shall propose amendments to this Constitution or on the application of the legislatures of two thirds of the South states shall call a convention for proposing amendments which in either case shall be valid to all intents and purposes as part of this constitution when ratified by the legislatures of three fourths of the South states or by conventions and three fourths thereof as the one or the other mode of ratification may be proposed by may be proposed by the Congress provided that no amendment which may be made prior to year 1808 shall in any manner affect the first of four causes and the ninth section of the first article and that no state without its consent shall be deprived of its equal suffrage in the Senate. Article 6. All debts contracted and engagements entered into suit before the adoption of this constitution, um, before the adoption of this constitution, um, wait, be, before the adoption of this constitution shall be as filed against the United States of this constitution as under the confederation of this constitution and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof and and all treaties made or which shall be made under their under the wait under their authority um under the authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the land and the, the and the judges of every state shall be bound thereby anything in the constitution or laws of the state to the contrary not standing the state's representatives before mentioned and the members of the civil state legislatures and all executive and judicial and judicial officers both of the United States and of the civil states and of the civil states shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this constitution but no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public checks under the United States. Article 7. The ratification of the conventions of nine states. I mean, the ratification of the conventions of nine states shall be sufficient for the subject of this constitution between the states to so ratify the same. Done in conventions by the unanimous get, by the unanimous consent of the states. Present the seventeenth day in, in September. In the I mean of September. Wait. Present the seventeenth day in September.
the year of our Lord, 1787. And of the independence of the United States of America, the 12th 